Check one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One. That's it. What did you do? I changed it from room from TV to program. It was it was on podium. So I I brought it down to the top. This is where it was before. It was on podium with TV, so I brought it down to the program. Well yeah, I I can I can Mic check, one, two, three, four. Check mic one, check mic two. Check mic three. Check mic four. Check mic five. Check mic six. Check mic seven. Six is loud, the rest of them aren't so loud, but what else? Mike two, check, check. You can take it down a little bit. Mike three. Mike four. All right. Mike eight, check, check. I don't hear it on the TV. I don't hear you at all. Do we have any extra batteries? Which is probably good because I just look at the Does it require batteries?
turn on the box. But, I mean, the video on box. Yeah. Mic check, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mic check, one, two, three, four, five, six.
Okay. Janet, can you hear me? Oh, I, I can, thank you. Great. Let's see if we can see you or if we're going to get a Hall of Mirrors effect when we do that. All right. And we see her as well. Terrific. Thank you. Okay. Great. All right. So we, we are on the air, Dan. You can go ahead. So welcome all to the August 2nd, 2022 Growth Planning Committee meeting. Uh, we will start off with introduction of members and guests. And I'll start to my left. Get really close to the mic, Dan. Yep, we will do. Liz Johnson. Dan Saunders. Paul Hogan. Eli Rubin. Porter yeah, Gilliam. And joining us from the virtual land. She said it, but. I didn't hear it. Oh, she yeah. said it. She said it while Eli okay. was talking. Very good. She talked to him. All right, so number two on our agenda is to review the remaining timeline for the comprehensive plan, which has been set off to the state for their approval. So, uh, Werner or... Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll just start off with an, with an intro, and then we'll, um, you know, we'll see what folks, you know, how folks want to discuss this. Sounds um, good. But uh, we thought it was important to just go over the timeline uh, so that... Uh, you know, the public was aware uh, and also the committee was aware in terms of kind of where we're at in the process and what remaining steps we have. So August 11th uh, is the next Board of Selectmen's meeting. And at that meeting there, uh, just as part of the warrant article process, uh, you know, from now until, you know, now until November, uh, warrant articles are just you know, they are somewhat of a standing item, you know, uh, for discussion. So, uh, so that is uh, for the board, you know, an, an optional meeting to attend, but that is something that will be there on their agenda should, you know, you all wish to attend uh, for that. But that's just part of our typical process for warrant articles. Yep. Uh, September 13th, we have the 30-day noticing for the comp plan public hearing. Uh, September 22nd, select board signs the warrant. And then October 13th, now this one is a, you know, I would say this is a non-optional meeting. You know, this is the public hearing, you know, with you all, with Growth Planning Committee uh, for the comprehensive plan. Uh, and, you know, this is the public hearing that's required by state statute. Okay. So, um, is that with the Board of Selectmen or just Yes, us? correct. Yep, that's with the board. That's at one of their, that's at one of their meetings. Got it. Uh, and then November 8th is election day. So, and that's where folks have the opportunity to vote for the comprehensive plan. So, uh, so that's the calendar in terms of what we're looking at. Uh, you know, next thing I'll, I'll turn over to Eli, uh, and he can talk a little bit about uh, some thoughts that we had as far as educational outreach, uh, if the committee wants to participate in that, and just get your thoughts on that um, in terms of what you know, what could be done between, you know, now and November, so. Before we hop into that, can I just ask, has there been any feedback from the state on the plan? Any questions, any, no. nothing, zero? No. And what's the time frame for that? Do they have an obligation to respond within 60 days or something like that? They do. Um, they have a number of obligations that they have to meet. Um, you can follow along. The plan will be posted on the state's website uh, where members of neighboring towns and members of this town can can put comment in. I think my mic I might just, have. No, you're okay. still good. Great, thank yep. you. Um, that being said, so they, they statutorily have a, a required deadline, and so we should be in good shape uh, to, you know, they should get their review back to us. Um, I think by that August, no, by the, um, I actually I can't quite remember, but I think by that September 22nd deadline mm -hmm. was kind of the reason that we structured it this way. Yeah. Um, but we don't, we're not going to really hear anything from them for a while. Okay. We, so, so for the public hearing though, we should know by then for sure. For the September, for the October 13th public hearing? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. So that, yep. I mean, I think that that's the expectation. Really the key date, right? 
it's yeah. this public hearing and it's in a, yeah. hopefully an approved state plan. Yeah. Um, and then we can go from there. Okay. And actually, that was the date that was the reason that we had to all the way up through to the beginning of this year yeah. was centered around that date. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, you know, the rest of the memo is kind of just some <laughs> ideas. Uh, the You'll remember that we have this organized into the two volumes, the volume one, which is that nice kind of table copy that's that's for the community. And then, and then volume two, which is the, the, the full plan. Um, so we thought that if the committee wanted to, there'd be an opportunity kind of between now and the election day to distribute those kind of beautiful volume ones. And so one thought was, um, you know, kind of just listed some groups that we know that already meet regularly as kind of e easy groups that we might be able to or, you know, that committee members might want to go to a meeting with a handful of copies and distribute it just to get them around town. Mm -hmm. um, and so to aid in that, I kind of just pulled together some talking points. Um, if a committee member wanted to go to, let's say, one, you know, historical society meeting, bring some copies of the plan, talk about it briefly, uh, that's, that's really all that this is. Uh, but it's really totally up to what the committee feels like they want to do. Um, and I think the only thing, you know, that we can, at this point, that we can offer as staff is if the committee wants to decide on what groups they might be excited to visit and lets us know, we can coordinate, you know, what time do they meet, who should be the contact, and try to help with the logistics that way. Okay. Um, but it's really, you know, up to what you'd like to do. Yeah, I would say let's maybe find out who's meeting when. I'm sure a lot of people aren't meeting in July or August. Um, the only group I would add is um, the Kenny Buck Resident Association because they have a good newsletter that goes out yep. regularly to a big distribution list. I don't know what the number is, but... Um, and I don't know if they're actually meeting... Uh, David uh, James would know. Sure. It's yeah. About 200 on the list, and uh, we haven't met in years. <laughs> good Sounds key. like a good reason to meet. <laughs> yep. We could do it down on the Conservation Trust like we did that years ago when you and I went down there. Right. So, well, it's, it sounds like in the case of uh, that group, you know, some kind of a message. Uh, including where you can go read one, yeah. you know, yeah. online or in person at the libraries or, um, but I'm sure he would publish a, uh, you know, an informational, the same talking points that you were gonna, we could just craft it into a message for his people and I'm sure he would distribute it. Yeah, so I think the, you know, the question is, is, you know, one is the, is the committee willing to go or are you all comfortable going and reaching out to any of these groups to, to attend their meetings? And I think maybe at the very least drop off a copy of that of that volume. Um, and if not, I mean, I think we're, you know, we're happy to, to I think, put together, um, you know, take these talking points, yeah. format it into a memo type and provide it to those particular groups as well as saying, here's a, you know, here's a location where you can access volume one. But, you know, this was more just thinking of an opportunity that if, you know, if anybody from the committee wanted to, uh, you know, specifically we reach out to any of these groups, you know, that we would, we would work with you all to get together what you needed for that. This would likely occur September, October. The, the, yeah. They're yeah. not printed yet, so um, probably wouldn't be, you know, right away. Okay. And, and if folks aren't comfortable with doing a, you know, a meeting with any of the committees, again, you know, we'll, we're happy to put together the memo for that and then just, you know, tell them where copies of volume one are available or, or something of that nature. But we just thought this was an opportunity that if anyone mm -hmm. wanted to do an in-person meet with any of these groups, we could, you know, we could get started on, on helping you out, all out with that. Do you want to know now? 
I'm, I'm happy to contact Consolidated and the PTA there. Yeah, no, that, that would be great. Is the PTA, have they had meetings in person? I don't know. I haven't been part of it in a couple years. Oh, right. More than a couple years, but um, I bet they will this fall. Are the library boards meeting, Janet? I'm happy to, to do something with the board. I'm on the board, so I can, uh, I can plan to do it at the September meeting. It's the first Tuesday in September. Would that be a good date? Yeah, yeah, that would, yeah, that would certainly work. Okay. We're happy to get you, you know. I'll ask to be put that. on the agenda. Um, I'd be happy to go wherever we can find an, a real meeting or a Zoom meeting. And regardless, I mean, we're happy to, re you know, yeah. these groups that we have listed, you know, if we don't have anyone to go, we're happy to just send them a copy right. of, the, of the talking points, yeah. you know, um, and just and handle it that way, send it to the to the chairs. I'll provide you some feedback. I got to look at my travel schedule, which is fairly busy through September, to see what would be available. Okay. Yeah. But, and so we don't necessarily yeah, need an answer yeah. tonight. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I'll, I'll let you, know. you know, everyone's got a, you know busy schedules for sure. So when you get a chance, take a look at your schedule and just get back to us and yep. tell us. Uh, well, I think it'd be worth thoughts. finding out whether. These groups are meeting in September, yeah. October, and mm -hmm. if so, because mm -hmm. they're going to meet on whatever dates they're going to meet on. Right. So our calendar is kind of irrelevant. We're either available or not. Yeah. So. Yeah, and we were picturing this more as a like a as a one you know yeah. one member from the committee sure. going, yeah, not sure. trying to convene a joint yeah. meeting or anything like that. That just for sure gets a bit tricky. So. Yeah, it's a nice courtesy. Yep. To extend. Yep. And even if the group is not meeting. One of us can meet with the head of the group outside of a meeting and then yep. get the information and then they can pass it along. Yep, yep. absolutely. Great. So I guess we can. We certainly could provide can them up our contact them. information too on those that we're not going to meet with, that they have specific questions about the plan or that they can reach out, right? I mean, I'd be happy to talk to anybody. Okay. All right. And maybe, you know, a similar posting on our web page, yep. updating, and, you know, you could put all of our phone numbers out there if everybody agrees to that. Um, uh, you know, as contact points for questions if people have them. Yeah, maybe before the uh, public hearing in the context of that. Great. Well, we can. And there, uh, there are no town-wide events, right? Between now and then. Oh, good. Oh, the when's chalk the port? Is that there might be some on the recreations um, calendar. You know, yep. someplace outside where we can set up a table and have sure coffees. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can. Um, yeah, that's the only one I can think of. I don't know when that is. Yeah, we'll yeah. take a look and see if we can handle it. Is it August? up soon we'll pull up the calendar here so it sounds like maybe what the committee is asking is we put together more specific dates yeah. and then committee members can say um, which events or meeting that they might right. attend okay September 23rd and 24th is oh 
Thank you, David. Mm -hmm. I want to repeat that. Oh, um, so the question was, when was chalk the port? And it turns out it's the 23rd and 24th of September. Okay. No, so that's great. That's good feedback. So we've got a, you know, so we have a list of things that we can, you know, that we can work on and we can come, you know, come back with that we can just communicate uh, through email with folks on. Um, but realistically, until we get through, you know, this process, uh, you know, um, I think we're pretty well set in terms of meetings until after we get through, until we get, you know, after we get through the, you know, the, the November uh election right meaning we don't need to meet is that what you're saying correct okay yeah. um, did we unrelated but did we um, get other nominations self nominations for people to join the committee uh, I don't believe I've seen any uh, okay. but I don't necessarily you know, see all of that that comes through Lori, uh, comes yeah. through Lori. Yep. It's another great thing to tie into right. yeah. as advertising the plan mm -hmm. that um, there's an opportunity to join the committee. Actually, I, I, I take that back. There will be uh, one need to review an ordinance amendment that's going to be coming up in November uh, just for because it's a it's a modification to the land use ordinance okay. it is it centers around and it's primarily a, it's an administrative you know change and that's with how we currently uh, the process that with which we review the rumor requests and licenses currently go through the zoning board of appeals the zoning board of appeals has uh, requested that that be taken out of their purview and that it just be put in the purview of the code office. And mm -hmm. so that uh, is a warrant article that will show up in November. So we will need to meet just to do a consistency uh, determination on that. Okay, when, do they, when do we need to meet to have that done by, you know? Is there a uh, well, we date? need to have it just squared away before the public hearing. Okay. You know, so, you know, so that's something we can, you know, we can do that. So if we do uh, like the first Tuesday in October, is that sufficient or is that too late? Uh, I think I'd probably maybe like to do that in, in September. September. Yeah, just to have that, you know, have that done. I don't prefer not to wait to the last minute on it, but yeah, okay. if that, that's fine. If that works, if that gives. So maybe second, every, second Tuesday, third, third, or well, the third Tuesday, our second meeting. What well, usually yeah, we second meeting day. Yeah, that would probably work. Mm. The first one will be right after the Labor Day, right? Or right. The week before. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, so that would be the 20th. Looks like the 20th of September. Is that, is that soon enough, or we got to go to the first week? No, I think that's fine. Okay. Yep. So coming out of the election, so we'd be back to doing our some of our other GPC work that we used to do, right? And one of those I remember is is sort of doing a review of the growth area map, right, and getting data on any changes that which may have occurred to infrastructure and so forth, and what the permit levels are. Yep. So I think we got to do that by February. So it's just something we want to. Right. Yep put on the calendar to get that data. Yeah, and then likewise, you know, at, you know, at this then, at this point, you know, I don't, you know, not to jinx us, but so far so good in yeah. terms of feedback that we've heard regarding the comp plan. Uh, and so hopefully then starting, you know, November, December, we'll be looking at our own strategies. Sure. Uh, Absolutely.
Some good talk, talking points here that you guys have put down. So. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, and you know what Eli and I have also just discussed with these talking points, you know, if you have, you know, as you think about the specific groups, uh, we can also direct you towards specific items in the plan that would likely be of interest to that particular yeah. group. Uh, you know, for instance, you know, when talking, you know, with, when talking with the, you know, with the school, uh, you know, maybe looking at some of the demographic and educational information would be important, and just strategies where where the town is supportive of consolidated. You know, we can highlight some of those. Right. Just thinking about, you know, who your audience is and and what pieces of the plan, you know, might hold uh, interest for them. You know, we can provide you some additional talking points. Okay tailored to those groups, if you'd like. Can we send the talking points to Janet and whoever? Because it wasn't, I mean, on the agenda I printed out today, yeah. it, wasn't, it wasn't there, so. That, it, sh it should be now. <laughs> that, that's our fault. There was a mix up in our office just okay. with that, but now on the website, yep. the okay. agenda and the memo is the Got longer it. memo. Yep. Um, yeah. My mistake, I made two copies and one was complete and one wasn't, so. Um, but yeah, that's that's available on the website now. Thank you. Thank you. Just have to approve our minutes. So now we got the review of the minutes. Is that where we are? Yeah. Excellent. We have two different third and the seventeenth. Yep. I looked at them. I made a. I'll make a motion to approve them. Okay. Second. Second. Any discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Janet, did you Aye. vote on that? Yep. She yep. did. Thank you. Yep. Did. Oh, okay. Approved. All right. My goodness, this feels like uh, we got to do something for at least five minutes to make a half-hour meeting here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the middle of a birthday party, so I'm going to leave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any other th the topics that we need to discuss? Uh, not at this point. Again, okay. this is really just to yeah. you know bring everybody up to date, make yep. sure that everyone knew what the timeline was, and uh, you know we'll get just some feedback on okay. talking points and opportunity to reach out to other town groups. So, so we should get back to you within. Well, you guys are going to get us a, a list well, of yeah. places when they meet, and then yep. we'll turn that around and say two weeks and get back to you and say, hey, we can take this one, this one, and this one. So we got right. And then whoever we're not going to meet with, we'll send out the... That's right. Okay. Yep. That works. And our next official in-person meeting is September 20th? Yes. Correct. Okay. Yep. Six o'clock here. Right? Assuming there's no change. Correct. Yep. Right. Assuming, yeah, assuming nothing else comes up between now and then. Haven't heard that? Well? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much, all. Thanks, Eli. Thank you. It's been fun.